Yeah, the guy's reckoning here, and let's play some limbo. Or at least, this is the gate to allow us to play limbo. I don't know why, but in this version of the game, it's called Gate to Limbo. In the PlayStation 4, which is technically just vanilla Doom, where this is ultimate, it's just referred to as Limbo. The level's pretty much the same, just the name's a little bit different. I mean, there's very minor differences between the two ports, but as I've mentioned before, I do prefer the PlayStation 1 port over Ultimate Doom, just for a few, you should call them cosmetic reasons, such as sounds and lighting and things of that nature. The levels are pretty much the same. I don't think there's much difference. Though I don't know if... I think every level here transmits over to the PlayStation port. They might have added one or two in. I know that a couple of the levels that are in um, Episode 4 are straight from Vanilla Doom. And then a couple more were added in Ultimate Doom. I, I figure what I'll end up doing, just to show the few levels that may not exist in both versions of the game, such as the PC. Well, technically, PC ports Ultimate Doom. Depending on what WAD file you get, but. I'll probably make a video or two showing off the differences, both interface, I guess, and uh, level-wise between Ultimate Doom and the PlayStation 1 port that I love oh so much. And you'll probably s pick up on why I like it more when you uh, see the environment that it drops you into. I mean, it's the same game, but I just feel that... The environment of the game was handled a little bit better in the PlayStation port, but that'll have to wait. And in addition, um, I was actually considering doing the final episode of Ultimate Doom entirely in Brutal Doom. So we do the most difficult episode in a more difficult way, but... As it would be Brutal Doom, deaths would be okay, and I could run it a different way. Just so you can see how amazing Brutal Doom is and everything of that nature. It would probably be both easier to record, and the commentary would probably come out being a tiny bit better. But we would have to see. Because me doing post-commentary, as you can probably pick up, is not exactly the best thing. But I make do. I make do. I prefer live, but I work with what I can get. I mean, with the computer I've got working, I both don't know how to do the live commentary properly, nor do I think my computer can handle it. But I, I would have to see. I don't know if the kind of software I need is free or not, and if it's not free, well then I definitely can't get it. So that's fun. But, yeah, this is Gate to Limbo, otherwise known as Limbo, or however the hell you want to refer to it. It's, Limbo's in the name, so as long as you include Limbo in the name, you're probably pretty close. Other than Deimos Lab, this is probably the other level that I end up getting lost in being confined to that owl floor was not the best, as I took way too much damage there. So now, I'm playing a bit cautious, because I know there's more enemies down in the, this owl floor section. So, I just gotta avoid them and make sure I get the first shot, and then of course take a BFG, because why the hell not. But, with the way that the second this phase, you could call it, of this level goes, Basically, once you pick up the red key, you go into the second phase of the level, I'd say. Once you get into the second phase, then it's kind of easy to get lost. 
I'll say that much. But luckily, I've played this level so much recently, moderately recently, that I kind of know where I needed to go. So, I still don't know 100% the exact order that I need to go to these different places in, but as you'll probably pick up, I figure it out pretty quickly, which is why this video is only about nine minutes. Had I actually gotten lost, it would have been up more probably around 12. But now that we've got the red key, and we flipped off that switch, the second phase begins. And for some reason, center of the level is supposed to open up. But I guess I didn't flip a certain switch that I needed to flip to get it all opened up. And I think I know what that switch is, and I just didn't bother to flip it because I didn't think of it. But the second phase of this is, had you explored the level prior to picking up the red key, you would have found a lot of red doors closed in multiple locations throughout the level. That being one of them, two more being back here. All these teleporters go to a different area in more or less the same room. The challenge of this phase of the level comes from figuring out which teleporter you need to get to to flip a switch to get to the yellow key, and then figuring out which, one, which part of the room you need to get to next to flip a switch to allow you to get to the next part of the level. As you can see with this switch, that brings up the floor, allowing us to get to the yellow key, and then I just jog across and pick it up there. So now I make a mental note that I don't have to go back into that one. Or the other one. So I run back in here, and I notice that's not up yet. So I know I have to come back here at some point, and I go off to find another teleporter. And I know pretty much where all of them are. Just don't call where they all go. I have the yellow key, so I know that I have to come here to exit the level, but I'm going to have to find a switch to get the floor up to get there. So make another mental note. So I know where I have to go to get out of the level. So then I move on to the next teleporter that I know of, which is back here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the only other one we can go to. You flip this switch, which... Probably brings up the floor for the first yellow key door we saw. So now I have to go through my mental notes and figure out which teleporter I need to go to. <clears throat> Apparently my mental note was not good enough. No, 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 okay, yeah, I remember what I did there. I checked that one to see if that was the way out. And through looking in there, I was able to find out that it was not that specific one, but it clued me into which one it actually was. So, we go in there, open this door up, flip this switch, and I guess if, had I looked through the window, I might have been able to see if it, or if it did not, or if it, I would be able to check if it rose the floor leading to the exit. And going through here, it did. So, we can now leave. And that is Gate to Limbo finished in a pretty solid way. I'm actually satisfied with how I tackled that level in its second phase. So that's good. The final level is next. Dis.